In our first video, we're going to review how to solve an absolute value equation by hand, and then we'll remind ourselves how to do it with a calculator. So I'm going to try to isolate everything that's in the absolute value. So the first thing I would do, like any equation, I would subtract 4. And after I do so, we've got what we result here. And now I'm going to divide by this negative 2. But anytime I divide by a negative number or multiply, and I have an inequality sign, then inequality flips. So now I have the absolute value of 3 fourths x minus 1 is less than negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. And now when we break the absolute value up, we're going to have 3 fourths x minus 1 less than or equal to 1, but also greater than or equal to negative 1. So we're really saying that I could put a negative 1 here and here and break the absolute value up. And I can do that because the absolute value represents the positive and the negative inside that parentheses. So now I'll solve as normal. We would add 1 to both sides. Well, in this case, it's all sides. So now I have negative 1 plus 1 is 0, is less than or equal to 3 fourths x, which is less than or equal to 1 plus 1 or 2. Now, to undo a 3 fourths, I could do this in two steps or one. I'm going to do it in one step, multiplying everything by 4 thirds. I don't have to switch my absolute value because this is a positive value. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So now we have x is greater than 0, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to 8 over 3. So this would be our solution, and we could also write it 0, 8 thirds. Here's a new problem to try. Try it, pause the video, and then check your solution with what I have. So I've added 3 to both sides. Now we're at our divide by negative stage. So we have 1 half. So when we divide by this negative 3, 3 divided by negative 3 is 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3, but more importantly, this absolute value switches. And so what that means is we have that same absolute value, 1 half x plus 2, less than or equal to negative 3, greater than or equal to the opposite of that, which is 3. When we continue on, you can see the work. We have x is between negative 10 and 2, but it's not really between. It's greater than 2 and less than negative 10. If we looked at each one of these individually, there is no number that's both less than negative 10 and greater than 2. On a number line, that would look like, here's my negative 10. We're going to shade below. Here's my 2. We're going to shade above, but because we're looking for both to be true, that's not possible. And so this answer is no solution.